Hi there, I'm Peter, Technical Program Manager here in the Cisco Security Business Group. And in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the new Umbrella Auto Tunnel configuration. We'll start this video off by reviewing how this feature came to be, the prerequisites needed, jump into the demo, and finish by showing you how to review and monitor activity in the FMC and in the Umbrella Dashboard. So let's discuss how this feature came to be. In 7.2, Cisco Secure Firewall introduced the Umbrella Connector that enabled DNS requests to be directed to Cisco Umbrella for policy evaluation. With the introduction of this connector, requests for inspection of all internet bound traffic came piling in. Now with 7.3, we have a simplified integration between Cisco Secure Firewall and the Umbrella Secure Internet Gateway, also known as the SIG, in the new Umbrella Auto Tunnel configuration. This solution ingests all internet bound traffic to the secure internet gateway for inspection and filtering via the SIG tunnel. The way this works at a high level is the firewall management center leverages the umbrella connector and invokes umbrellas application protocol interface or APIs to configure network tunnels using the connection. The FMC then fetches a list of data centers and displays them in the user interface for selection as a hub in the secure access service edge topology. With the tunnels created, network devices use the SIG tunnel to pass all traffic through Umbrella for inspection. To see this at a more granular level, let's review the prerequisites before the demonstration. For the auto tunnel configuration to work properly, you have to have an Umbrella integration with a configured management key on the FMC. Additionally, you need a SIG Essential subscription or free SIG trial, one umbrella account per FMC, an HA payer uses one account, export controlled enabled on the Secure Firewall Management Center, which you can find in the smart licensing status right here, and the FMC can reach managementapi.umbrella.com. Lastly, users need to ensure the umbrella connector is established for more detail, please watch Namit's Umbrella Connector video up here in the top right, or you can read the Umbrella Connector documentation using the link in the description below. Now with the Umbrella Connection in place, the next step is to set up the auto tunnel using the FMC SAS topology wizard. So right now, we're gonna be starting in the Cisco Umbrella instance, and we're going to grab the Umbrella Management Key and Secret Pair by going to Admin, API keys, and then we're gonna come over here to legacy keys and click it. From here, we're going to be going to the umbrella management key section down here. And as you can see, there's only one key. We don't have the secret pair. So for that, we're going to have to hit the refresh button to get the secret pair. Now it's important to note that when you generate a new key and secret pair, it can break any API integration that's using umbrella management keys. So make sure you double check before hitting refresh. And this will also tell you if you're certain about wanting to refresh. So click refresh. And then you'll see the key, the new key and the secret pair. You're going to copy these first, the key, and you're going to go to your FMC instance. You're going to come to integration, other integrations, which will bring you here to cloud services. And then you're going to come down here to the Cisco umbrella connection and go to the advanced section. You're going to take the management key that you just copied from umbrella and paste it. And then you're going to come back here and grab the secret key from the umbrella instance and paste it there in the management secret section. You're then going to test the connection. And if it does work, you'll see this connection successful prompt. After that, just hit save. And then the next thing that we're going to be doing in the FMC is we're going to go to devices. We're going to go over here to VPN and we're going to click site to site. In this new window, we're going to click the button add SAS topology. In the new window, the pre-shared key will be pre-populated with an auto-generated value adhering to the PSK requirements on Umbrella, such as the length of the key, the combination of alphanumeric characters, case, and symbols, etc. Now we just need to add a topology name and select the Umbrella Data Center.
Once you've added the Topolini name and you're selecting the Umbrella Data Center, it's recommended to use the one closest to your location or as required by your company policy. With everything in place, all you need to do from here is click Add, which will open the Endpoint dialog box for you to perform the following. You can select a device, and you can pick a static VTI interface or click the plus button to create a new static VTI. Now, if you're creating a new static VTI, the add virtual tunner inter interface dialog box will open up with all values pre-populated. You just need to review the values and click OK to save. Lastly, all you need to do is enter the prefix for the local tunnel ID. And just so you know, the complete tunnel ID will be at umbrella.com, will be generated on Umbrella once this prefix is configured and deployed on Umbrella by the FMC. The FMC will then retrieve and update the complete tunnel ID and deploy it on FTD. So all you have to do from here is click save. Other than that, you just need to repeat these steps for any more nodes that you have. And once all the nodes and devices have been added to the topology, you can come down here in the bottom right and click next to go to the summary page. Here, a summary of the topology created is shown with relevant information. And if you're satisfied that everything is correct, all you need to do in the bottom right is click save. Upon clicking save, a pop-up window will show you the tunnel configuration status and if it's successful, and that's it. You've set up the Umbrella Auto Tunnel. Finishing this out, we're going to do reviewing and monitoring on the FMC and within the Umbrella dashboard. So reviewing and monitoring on the FMC, users can go to Devices, come back here to Site to Site, and then if they want to review the updated tunnel or anything related to it, they can come over here and use the Edit button to get the details. And if they want to view the tunnel, they can go to Overview, come here to Site to Site VPN. And you'll see information on the tunnel right here on the dashboard. Alternatively, if you go into Umbrella, you can go to the Overview page and then you can come here to Deployment Health and you can see that there's one active network tunnel. You click this, it will take you to the network tunnel page where you'll notice the network tunnel deployed on Umbrella and passing traffic. The way this works is the FMC Umbrella Auto Tunnel feature configures tunnels on the endpoint or the firewall and the Umbrella data center. To review further details of the tunnel, you can do this by clicking on the tunnel name. And that's it. I hope you found this information useful. And if you're looking for more, definitely check out Alan's video over here for the release 7.3 overview. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out Namit's video about the umbrella connector. See ya.